she's not standing up. No. And that's just so mm. wrong. Straight away, it is very strange. As a vet with nearly 20 years experience, she's like a big question mark. Come, come here, that's yeah, I mean, that is <laughs> so weird. Good girl. Yes, you're a good girl. There you go. Hello. And Poodle Cross is in trouble. Dee will soon be taking Gracie in to see Scott. We've had dogs my entire life. My family is a complete dog family. And she is the most affectionate and silly and hilarious little dog we've ever had. But a few months ago, the lovable five-year-old started dragging her back legs on the ground. She couldn't jump up on the sofas anymore. She could bounce very high when there was somebody at the door. That stopped. Now, there you go. Then her legs started splitting. So if she's on kitchen tiles or on wooden floors, her back legs just started splitting. It is very odd. Come on, <laughs> poor little thing. We want to find out what it is. If it was a human, we wouldn't let her carry on like that. So there has to be something wrong with her. Good girl. Yeah, I want it not to be cancer. Basically. There's my good girl. Hey? At the St. Margaret's practice, Dee has arrived with Gracie. It's obviously not something run of the mill. Just hopefully he confirmed that she's just a little bit mad, um, but there's nothing serious wrong. It was this bit. She she's perfectly happy, but she can't get from between sitting down and standing up. She has to be put up like that. Sit down. You're going to come here. Come here, darling. Come over here. Come over here. Oh, wow. Come over. It's that. She's almost like a baby when they're bomb shuffling. Mm -hmm. She can go really fast, but they're just not... She's not standing up? No. Straight away, it is very strange. Come, come here. That's yeah, I mean, that is so weird. She is a young, very happy, very exuberant dog. But as soon as she sits down, she really struggles to stand back up again. She has really no sort of hamstring muscles at all. It is super weird. And you've never noticed her in pain at all. No, no flinching, no, no crying out. No. no, it's not like, you know, she had a fight with a dog or yeah, she or fell or something. Or... No, nothing happened. But I just want to try and see if I can do something, a few neurological tests. So basically, okay. this one's called hemi-standing, just to see if she can stand on those two legs. Oh, I better. Yeah. Not very well. Now, a normal dog will just hop and move. Gracie just collapses. Scott will run one final test to isolate Gracie's back legs. I mean, that's just so, Good so wrong. Good Look at girl. that. As soon as I take the power away from this dog, she can't, do she can't do anything. As a vet with nearly 20 years experience, normally when I see something straight away, I know that's what the problem is and that's what I need to do to fix it. With Gracie, Wow, she's like a big, furry, walking question mark. It's all right. It's a lot of worrying symptoms there. I've had dogs all my life, and I've never seen anything like this. Well, to be honest, Dee, nor have I. <laughs> this is... I'm not sure whether that's good or bad. <laughs> <laughs> this is something that, you know, you just don't see. Gracie will now be referred to a neurologist at the Royal Veterinary College because this could be anything from something affecting her brain, yeah. either an inflammatory cause or tumour. It's not impossible to think that might be the case. I certainly had convinced myself it definitely couldn't be a tumour. Um, and I couldn't get him to say, no, it's not that. Um, so the idea of that um, is uh, grim. She's a good girl. I'd love to say that everything's fine. But it's not. It's, it's, it's not. No, no. It's not. You good girl. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. There's a good girl. 18 miles away, Dee and Gracie have arrived at Scott's referral hospital, the Royal Veterinary College. Come on. Today, neurologist Dr Elsa Beltran will be carrying out the investigation into this baffling case. Good girl. Elsa starts by testing the reflexes in all Gracie's legs. Definitely hurt her when she squeezed her toes, but you can hear her squeal. Oh, it's OK. She pressed down her, on her spine quite heavily, and that's not hurting, so that's good. It's a good girl. But it hurt when her toes were squeezed. Examination done, 
it's time for Elsa's initial diagnosis. In, in a very simple way, if that is uh, what we call the brain, yeah. Okay, and this is the spinal cord, which mm -hmm. is they are like cables, okay, that communicate the brain, the spinal cord, and then we have what we call the peripheral nerves, which are uh, nerves coming out of the spinal cord, and what they do to our muscles is that they give information, so they are able, we are able to move our muscles. Right. So, in this case, we think that all of that is working okay. Yeah. So the problem could be starting here. Okay, mm -hmm. which is called the peripheral nerve. Elsa seems to think there's something wrong with her peripheral nerves in all four legs. Elsa wants to do an electrodiagnosis test, which involves putting needles in her muscles and seeing how they react. Um, but she'll be asleep, so that's okay. The test is measuring the electrical activity in Gracie's muscles and nerves. That's telling us that these muscles have some changes electrically that are not normal, that should be flat, and it's not. Go. Go. The back legs are worse than the front, but the front are not normal. The results have confirmed Elsa's suspicion that Gracie's problems are in the peripheral nerves, stopping messages getting through from her brain to her limbs. We know that Gracie has a problem with the peripheral nerves. It's a big question mark why she has that. And there are different conditions that can cause that. One thing could be a nutritional problem, but other thing that could be is what is called paraneoplastic, which means there is a cancer somewhere in the body. Hey, darling. Hello. She's fully awake. How are you doing? Before Gracie is started on a course of vitamin doing? supplements, Elsa will ask Scott to run x-rays and an ultrasound to make sure cancer is not the cause of Gracie's deteriorating back legs. You all right? Tumor bothers me. That bothers me. But I don't know, I don't think it's that, but that's just my gut feel. Um, but maybe that's just wishful thinking. I need a call. At the Richmond practice, Dee and Gracie have arrived for another appointment with Scott. Hi Dee, hi, hi yeah. Gracie, come, come on, on in. in. Good girl. From the battery of tests that the RVC has performed, it seems that Gracie has been diagnosed with something called peripheral neuropathy. And that's basically where all the nerves outside of the central nervous system, so outside of the, the brain or the spinal cord, slowly degenerate. And they're doing that because the myelin, which is the protective surface, almost like the insulation of the nerves, is breaking down. And that's why Gracie is slowly deteriorated yeah. to the point where she can no longer stand up. Yeah. Now, Scott needs to identify why the peripheral nerves are no longer getting the messages through to Gracie's legs. Firstly, he's going to check for any hidden tumours. So today, what we're going to do with you, beautiful, is we're just going to x-ray your beautiful body from head to toe, OK? And we're going to get an ultrasound, have a look at your tummy, just make sure we don't find anything nasty. Hey? Good girl. Are you feeling a bit battle-weary? Yeah, I do. It'll be good to know that, um, yeah, we don't want her to have any horrible tumours or anything. No. I, in my gut, I don't feel like it is, but now that you're talking about testing it, it's like, OK, let's get that done then. Yeah. Hey, Nath. Hi. Who's this? Uh, this is Gracie. Um, the dog that can't stand up. OK, well, let's just take this first one. X-ray. So far, so good. That's the abdomen, and everything looks very normal. So abdomen so far looks clear. Next, Scott will X-ray Gracie's chest. We completed all the rest of the x-rays and there really isn't anything to see, which is fantastic news and a massive relief. So now we're just going to perform a little ultrasound in the hope that we don't find anything else and we can give Gracie a clean bill of health. There, that's perfectly fine and healthy. And then going to spleen, which is also looking fine. So that's uh, good news for Gracie. So I think we can now wake her up. Now the procedure's finished, it's time for Gracie to be reversed from her anaesthetic Okay, she's just through here. And I'm going to give Dee a call, get her to come in, and I can give her the good news. Hello, darling, hello. 
these are the images that we've taken and the dogogram is nice and clear. It's no evidence of any tumours, no evidence of anything worrying or concerning. I'm just taking a whole bunch of x-rays of a healthy dog. Excellent. Aren't I? Which is really good news. Good. It's really good news. I wasn't worried until I left her here and then I, then I, then I was worried. Um, but yeah, now, I'm, now I feel happy. There's nothing bad there. So, now we've got the clear diagnosis of peripheral neuropathy, what we now need to do is establish how we're going to manage it. And actually it's um, a little out there <laughs> in that I think that what we need to do is use a vitamin supplement. Understandably, fairly, you're looking a little incredulous at thinking that's going to fix my dog. Uh, yeah, I don't, I mean it's good, but it sounds odd. The next step for Gracie is being able to provide her body with something that can fight the degenerative process. What we want to do is just stop the rot, stop that from happening, and the way we'll do that is with the use of antioxidants. And the best one to reach for is actually uh, a vitamin, vitamin E. Oh, well, <laughs> vitamin E sounds like a pretty simple fix. It does. For, for legs that don't work. It sounds too simple, doesn't it? Yeah, okay, we'll, we'll give that a go. We will give it a go. Obviously, I'm really hopeful that the vitamin E works. But if it doesn't, unfortunately for Gracie, it's not good news. The condition she has is degenerative, which means it will only get worse. Good luck, baby. Girl. Come on, right. babe. Go See me. you later, D. Oh, I got a good girl. Come on. That's my girl. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you. No Thanks. worries. Come around this way. Oh. Oh. In Richmond, Scott's on his way to meet D. He's about to find out whether the vitamin supplements have helped Gracie get back the strength in her back legs. Good to see you. <laughs> wow, it's a miracle. A miracle dog. Wow. Miracle dog. Good girl. Look Good at girl. you. And stand up, show him. Come on. Good girl. Wow, Gracie can stand. Seeing Dee throwing a stick, I'm absolutely blown away that Gracie is getting up, she's running around, playing, behaving like a normal dog. It's absolutely unbelievable. It's amazing, the difference. Yeah. It's, and she it's... getting stronger every day? Yeah, she's going up the stairs now herself. And I think I can feel muscles in her back legs. Oh, really? Building up. I think so. Oh, wow. Well, it's not very often that I offer to, to feel a lady's bum. Uh, well, in the you're, park. you're more than welcome. Uh, <laughs> I'm, sure I'm talking about mind. the dog, Dee. Uh, <laughs> oh, shame. Oh, yeah. That's incredible. I've been doing this job for a very long time now and I don't think that I've ever prescribed something so simple for a condition so complex. And although I don't think that vitamins are going to fix every condition, for Gracie, it's worked a treat. Can I see you run some more? Hey, Miracle Dog, go on. I want to see you show off. I want to see you show off. Go on, off you go. Come on, come wow. on. Good girl. Come on, that's it. That's it. Oh, that's amazing. My job is done. Good girl. Hi, I'm Dr. Kate. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Bondi Vet YouTube channel. Click on the screen now to continue watching more great content. And if you love Bondi Vet, go and support us by checking out Bondi Pet Marketplace at bondipet.com. You'll find a whole range of great Aussie pet products and services. We can't wait to see you there.